Good morning, children. How are you all? Fine. Okay. Very good. Children, we are learning conversion of matrix units. This is the last topic for this chapter. Let's see the learning objectives for today's class. To analyze the reasons for having different units to measure different things, to learn the conversion of different matrix units. I hope children after today's class you will learn why do we need different units for measuring different objects and what is the need to convert the numbers in different matrix units and how to convert them. Okay. So before learning the conversion of units the thing which came to my mind is why do we have different units centimeter meter kilometer what is the need what i understood is for centimeters measuring the objects in centimeters we are using ruler can i use the ruler to measure the distance between school and my home how much time will it take long time right so that is too big and if uh, you all know 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter the kilometer is a very big unit can i use that kilometer to measure a small eraser no so why do we need different units we need them because some units are too small like centimeter is too small to measure long distances i cannot use the ruler to measure the distance between two continents hmm? and similarly kilometer is a very long distance which i cannot use to measure an eraser you can understand you made that one meter right is it convenient for you to use that one meter to measure the eraser or is it convenient for you to use ruler to measure the length of eraser i know you know the answer right so this is the need that we have different units to measure different objects one more thing have you ever thought how did the scientists measure the distance between the planets now they have one more unit that is astronomical unit they use this to measure the distance between the planets you don't have to learn this this is just i wanted to know, uh, let you know that there are different units to measure different objects okay now the second question when i was making this ppt it came to my mind that why do we need to convert the units what is the need okay have you ever observe children you must have went to the grocery store with your mama sometimes you pick a chocolate and mama used to see what is the price of this chocolate what is the size of this chocolate and if you are picking two things which one is costly and which one is cheaper sometimes you must be picking the objects like any toy a car or something if it is not too costly mama used to buy but if it is very costly mama used to think right yes it used to happen so why these things happen how can mama is very much uh, able to compare the things it's because the things are in the same unit let me tell you you know about the currency right we are using rupees in india and naira in nigeria right all the things when we are going to supermarket are mentioned in naira okay so it's easy for mama to compare but if those things some are in rupees some are in naira can we compare like here if i say the cost of this five star is 15 rupees and the cost of this dairy milk is 500 naira can you compare which one is costlier no it's not easy for us because one is in other unit and the other one is in other unit one is in rupees one is in naira so we cannot compare let's see one more example here you remember i told you how to measure the kilometers we usually measure the distance between our house and school in kilometers 
the distance between my house and school is 2000 meter and the distance between your house and school is 20 kilometer can you tell me which one or who is living far from the school it's not easy right because the figure which has been given to you the number which has been given to you are not in same units now see the distance between my house and school is 2 km and the distance between your house and school is 20 km. Now you know that I am living close to the school and you are living far from the school. Not all of you, I am just giving you an example. Okay, so this is the need that we need to have. If we want to compare the objects, we need to have the units in same metric units. We have, we should have the numbers in same metric units, right? Now, before converting units, I want you to recall some few things. First, centimeter, meter, kilometer. From this figure, you can understand that centimeter is the smallest unit, meter is the standard unit of length and kilometer is the biggest unit. Okay. Now, here in this chapter, we are learning conversion of centimeter and meter. So, we are not doing conversion with kilometer. So, let us discuss about centimeter and meter. If we are converting from bigger unit to smaller unit, bigger unit to smaller unit means if we are converting from meter to centimeter, look at the figure and do remember when we are coming down, that is from meter to centimeter, we will multiply. And when we are going up, that is from smaller unit to bigger unit, that from centimeter to meter, we will divide. Can you remember this? Downward direction, multiply, upward direction, divide. Meter to centimeter, multiply, centimeter to meter, divide. Okay? Okay, now third very important thing you have to remember is 1 meter is equals to 100 centimeter. Now let us see the conversion of unit. In your last class, you learnt conversion of meter into centimeter. That is from bigger unit to smaller unit. We are coming in downward direction. Hmm? So we will multiply. Multiply means the number of digits will increase. Division means the number of digits will decrease. If you remember this thing, it is easy for you to convert the units. Now how? 6 meter. See first example, 6 meter. This you have done in your last class. Multiply by 100. That is 600. You see, here we have 6. Here we have 600. So the number of digits increase. We have one digit in six, that is one's place, and here we have three digit, one's tens hundred. How many zeros we have in hundred? Two. So whenever you multiply, you will add two digits. Whenever you divide, you will decrease two digits. Okay. Now see how. 6 meter, I am going to multiply with 100 will give me 600. I added 2 zero here. Okay. Now, if I have 600 centimeter, I have to convert centimeter into meter. 600, 600 divided by 100. That is, I have to reduce 2 units. Do not remember like 2 zero. Just remember 2 digits. I have to reduce 2 digits. So, it will come. 6 meter. Okay. Now let us see again 95 meter. Okay. 95 meter multiply by 100 will give you 9500 meter. Here we are doing multiplication. Here we are doing division. Now here 9500. I have to divide by 100. That is how many zeros? Two zeros. Just reduce these two zeros. So we will get 95 meter. I hope you are getting this concept. Conversion of meter into centimeter you have done. Here we are doing conversion of centimeter into meter. Okay. 
Now let's say if I have like this 4 meter 55 centimeter. In this example, we have one number in meter, one number in centimeter. So we don't have to do anything with 55 centimeter. Okay, we will only convert 4. So that is 4 into 100 will give you 400 centimeter and you will make it 455 centimeter. Children, if you have noticed, you already have this number meter and centimeter. 55 you have 2 units. So just add to 4. That will make 455 centimeter. Now here when you have to convert, you have to divide with 0. Right? So do remember the last 2 digit will go at centimeters place and the remaining 1 digit will go in meters place. Can you remember this trick? Let's see some more example. 32 meter 84 centimeter. I think without doing anything I can write it 3284. Is it? Because I have to multiply by 100. So it will become 3284 centimeter. Now if this centimeter I have to divide. Uh, what will I do? I will break this number from the last two numbers will go at centimeters place. And the remaining two numbers, the first two numbers will go in meters place. Can we remember this concept like this? Because I don't want you to divide with 100. Now let's see some more examples. 300 centimeter. Sorry. Now here we have to convert centimeters into meters. 300 centimeter. What did I told you? You have to reduce two zeros from the last. That is from ones place. So just hide ones and tens place. What will be left with us? Three. So that is 300 meter. You can understand it like this. 300 divided by 100. I am cutting the last two digits. This is how we do the revision. So what is left with us? Three. Now 619 centimeter. What you can do is the last two digit will go in centimeters place and the remaining digit will go in meters place. So it will become 6 meter 19 centimeter. Now we have four digit that is 7472 centimeter. What you have to do is you have to break the number. So the last two digit will come in centimeters place and the first two digit will come in meters place. Okay. Again we have the four digit number 5464. Break the number. Last two digit centimeters place. First two digit meters place. That is 54 meter 64 centimeter. Is it easy for you? Okay. These questions you have to copy down in your notebook. The remaining three, I am leaving it for you. I hope you all can do it yourself. Can you? Yes, I hope. Okay, all this, only this page you have to do in your notebook. These two pages are from your textbook children. If you have the textbook, do it in your textbook. Otherwise, just open this. You can download the textbook. Open this and try to do it on your own. Okay. Match the correct length. On your left hand side, they have given you some objects and you have to match whether you will measure them in centimeter, meter and kilometer according to you. Here they have given length, height and width. I hope you all are familiar with the length, height and width. Otherwise, just let's see this box. The length means how long is the box? Okay. That is the base. From the base we get the idea that how long is the box? How long is the bed? How long is the eraser? Or how long is the is your pencil? When we sharpen it, it gets small. Right? So, this is the length of the pencil. Now, height. How in upward direction? If we are keeping the box on the floor, how, what is the height of the box? Okay, so that is the height and width that is the size of the box. I hope 
it is clear with the this box so the first is length of an earthworm height of a child width of your fingernail length of sari and distance from home home to school you have to match the following here is just you have to read the long tail competition there are some animals 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 i can may uh, count them seven you see whether i have i have counted them correct or not and you have to check whose tail is the longest okay just try doing this i know you can do okay okay here we have finished our chapter on the basis of all these concepts today i am going to give you one quiz after listening to this video after trying all the numbers all the conversions then i want you to attempt the quiz thank you so much children take care stay home stay safe